So, we will continue our lecture. As I told you last class, so the seismic instruments are used to record seismic waves. Okay. So, we have seen that single component seismic instrument where the vertical uh, component of the earthquake will be recorded. So, three component, one vertical and two horizontal component of the earthquake is recorded. Okay. So, these earthquakes are recorded uh, in the seismic station. Then how these earthquakes are quantified, okay? how these earthquakes are scaled. Okay? So, the low earthquake, big earthquake, high earthquake, how it is quantified. So, let us see some of the earthquake reports okay, which is been reported. This is some of the, so the uh, Turkey earthquakes. So, it killed around 38 people, at least 1600 people are hospitalized. You can see that the magnitude of 6.8 is actually mentioned. Okay, magnitude of 6.8, remember they are written magnitude 6.8. Okay. So, then parallelly for the same earthquake, okay, the same earthquake, there was a another news, so which is written that. Uh, so, um, LSG earthquake occurred on so and so time and the local time on 24 January Turkey and the mean the magnitude of earthquake was determined uh, to be 6.7 MW. Okay. So, here it is written uh, 6.8 magnitude, it is written 6.7 MW, then there are so many people died and all those things. Okay. So, it is uh, written and then they also said that the neighboring countries of uh, Syria, Iran uh, uh, observatory where the magnitude of earthquake is 6.5, a total 49 people died. So, something is written. Okay. So, similarly, if you see the another earthquake, so the maybe the same earthquake where you can see there was a, um, a map which you published with uh, there are some lines. Okay. You can see these are all the some lines and the maps are published. So, then they also given the location of the earthquake and then I was telling you the shake map okay, where IMD also releases it is given and also they uh, release a warning system, okay, the uh, pager warning system. So, uh, about the this earthquake with respect to economic loss and the fatality loss this is. So, this is the generally the each earthquake report being released and reported that earthquake information like the uh, fault mechanism and then how many people felt and what was the this isosismal map and then what was the acceleration time stand all. So, this is another uh, earthquake where it is I think it is reported in India, Indian earthquake. So, uh, basically this earthquake has or occurred in Jammu and Kashmir. They reported that four medium intensity earthquake okay, shake Jammu and Kashmir within two hours no immediate report of casualties. Okay. So, then they report the four earthquake of medium intensity with magnitude measuring between 4.7 to 5.5 in the Richter scale hit Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. So, that is what the report it released. So, similarly there is a scientific uh, report on the earthquake uh, kind of things. You can see here this is about the Booch 2001 earthquake. So, they are written that uh, so the India was celebrating as uh, 51st Republic Day on earthquake uh, up 6.9 intensity on Richter scale. So, you should note that 6.9 intensity on the Richter scale epicenter. So, if you uh, glimpse uh, I mean try to see all the four report. So, somebody reported magnitude, somebody reported human magnitude, somebody reported intensity, somebody reported Richter scale, okay, somebody reported magnitude on Richter scale, somebody uh, reported intensity on Richter scale. So, what is this? Okay, I, so, it is really like a magnitude is a quantifying uh, scale or intensity is a quantifying scale. There was a confusion. So, uh, so the magnitude basically, literally, if you so by go by the meaning, so the magnitude is basically the is something which is measured as a magnitude. So intensity is uh, something which is intense, like the felt effect kind of things. Intensity. This is a literal meaning. So these people giving a some kind of mixed uh, kind of observation on that. So, in order to uh, understand and study the earthquake well, 
you should know how to quantify a earthquake okay how to earthquake can be quantified okay the concept of earthquake quantification so that is what we are going to discuss today class so after this class we will be understand what is the earthquake you should report which scale you should measure which which way you can report a earthquake to the general public who doesn't have the any knowledge okay so the earthquake size okay can be expressed in so several way the most suitable way is actually one is that qualitative way the another one is actually the quantitative or instrumental way so the qualitative way is basically non instrumental way of representing the earthquake size that is the qualitative way so this practice being used before installing the instrumentation to measure earthquake that is a qualitative way so the quantitative way is after installing the seismic instrumentation instrument at particular place whatever record we are getting that data is used to quantify a earthquake that is the quantitative way or instrumental measure of earthquake so there are two way we will report this one one is that intensity and magnitude so the intensity magnitudes are not equal intensities are the sum quantity qualifying the earthquake size or quantifying the earthquake size in qualitative manner qualitative manner means like approximately defining okay based on the sum qualitative uh, observation is the intensity value the magnitude is basically the measure what instrument does what instrument does basically the seismic instrument we have seen that it measures a seismic wave so how it measures basically it measures so like this you can measure so depends upon the place okay so where it is there so it will be measuring the signal correct so like this so as we have seen that okay so this basically so as we have seen that this basically the yeah, arrival of p wave this is the arrival of p wave okay so similarly we we we, we can also see the arrival of so yes wave the arrival of yes wave similarly we can also see the the arrival of other waves surface wave so depends upon the location of the instrument you can get a particular wave type in your place so based on this wave type okay you can estimate a size of earthquake that is quantitatively you can estimate based on this record that is called as a magnitude okay that is the magnitude of the earthquake where you can sell a size so what are those magnitude depends upon the what type of wave you use the magnitude scale will be different type so one is that a basically a richter magnitude or a local magnitude you can see that the richter magnitude local magnitude which basically uh, developed by the richter we will discuss in detail during then another one is the surface wave magnitude so you can see that this is the magnitude which used from the surface wave the body wave magnitude where the body wave is used here the coda wave magnitude where the coda wave is used the later one was the moment magnitude this is the most advanced version of estimating the quantifying the earthquake using uh, so the waveform data from different station without error so in this class we are going to discuss in detail intensity and magnitude its development okay so why because as we have seen that until 1960 india doesn't have many seismic station even today the number of station available are very less because of that the intensity scale also practiced at several earthquake earthquakes are reported in the uh, form of intensity so that if you know the intensity value you know the severity of the earthquake that also used for estimating the hazard and other things so what is mean by intensity so the intensity basically tells how the strong earthquake feels or to the observer so that means the intensity scales are basically made and 
designed such a that a person in the particular location based on his level of perception of the seismic wave the intensities are scaled okay for the lower level the higher level these also scales okay the qualitative assessment of the kind of damage done by a earthquake okay how the earthquake caused damage so this was developed by the basically the ms d rossi italy okay then the francis soes fresel switzerland so they joined together and developed this intensity scale in 1880s where there was a research started for the seismic instrumentation so depends upon the distance of the earthquake strength of the earthquake and local geology the damage changes so that has been notified and observed and that used to size a earthquake so depending upon the earthquake strength okay the local geology this intensity scale varies determined from the intensity of shaking and damage from the earthquake so this is actually the descriptive scale continues to be important because many seismic regions there is no seismic seismogram to measure strong ground motion okay second the long historical record of seismic seismically active countries found on the only such descriptive intensity scales okay where the many old earthquake as i said that there is no recorded data because there is no seismic station even india there are many earthquakes we can say like that because of that the intensity scales are very important and being continuously used so what are the different type of intensity scale as on people practice so one is that a uh, mercalli okay so cancani seiberg scale which is 12 level used in the southern europe then the modified mercalli so which is like a 12 level scale proposed in 1931 by wood and newman who adopted mcs scale to the california data set it is used in north america and several other countries the another one is like a, Uh, med veda so um, msk scale basically the 12 scale adopt central and eastern europe used in the several several other countries the european micro seismic scale ems 12 level scale adopted since 1998 in europe it is development of the mmi scale mmi scale okay so the japanese metrological scale it has a seven level used in japan it has been revised over a year and had recently been correlated with the maximum horizontal acceleration of the ground so the road damage intensity scale it has a five level uh, scale specially developed for the roads useful for seismic vulnerability assessment of the transportation network okay so we are going to discuss this intensity scale in detail so if you see uh, overall actually the first four scale as a 12 level only depends upon the where it has been used it has been renamed when they use southern europe it is msc when it used in the north america and several other country is mm and then it's used in the eastern europe and several other country msk and europe it is completely it is ems but overall the scale 12 level is remains same so the another level japan which has a five level scale only used in japan the rds is the recent scale it has a five level japan has a seven level scale okay it's a five level so we'll discuss each one in detail so the overall all the 12 level okay so the most widely it is called as a modified mercalli intensity scale or mm scale or mmi scale so this has 12 level of describing the earthquake uh, felt Uh, observation or earthquake damages so what they do those days they will train some person okay then based on that person perception he will tell that what is the intensity of the earthquake if there is no damage you can see that the level 1 detected only by the sensitive instrument so when there is no seismic instrument so generally the level 1 never been reported it is not at all there but since the you cannot start with four or five as a scale so the level 1 has to be there level 2 felt by the few person at rest especially upper floor okay so delicately suspended object may swing this is the level 2 level 3 felt noticeably indoor 
but not always recognized as a earthquake standing autos rock slightly vibration like passing a struck that is a level 3. Level 4 were felt indoor by many outdoor by few and might some may awaken dishes windows and door disturbed motor car rock rocks noticeably. So, this is the where the human can feel if they felt all the people in particular area felt a vibration that will be the intensity 4 and 3 before that they cannot feel. Okay. So, the felt most people okay, some breakage of the dishes, windows and plaster and disturbance or tall object where you can start noticing the building damages, building damage on 5 onwards. So, that means somewhere its intensity 5 is reported in the history there may be a damage of the building has been noticed during that earthquake. So, 6 felt by all many frightened and run outdoor. So, piling of plaster, chimneys damage all those things are 6, 7 everybody runs outdoor damage buildings varies depending upon the quality of the construction noticed by the drivers and automobiles. So, 8 panel wall throw out of the frame. So, falls wall window monument chimney stand mud ejected driver. So, these are all the some of the ground deformations also occurred in the 8. So, 9 the buildings shift of foundation cracks and have a greater damage. Okay, so, uh, where underground pipes broken. So, uh, uh, 10 most masonry frame structure destroy ground cracked rail bent landslide. You can see that the landslide and uh, railway network come into the location of basically scale 10. 11 few structure remain standing bridges destroy fissures like bridge pipe broken landslide rail bent. So, 12 damage total waves seen ground surface lines slightly level destroyed object through a So, you can see that the description what they observed in the several earthquake has been put together to frame this intensity scale. Okay. So, that is what it says. Sometime you may specifically get this kind of definition you may not get. For example, so India most of the places we have the predominantly mud structure. Okay. In the same city you can also see a RCC structure reinforced cement concrete and plain cement concrete structure. If these three structures are behave differently, so which scale you should use should be you should have the knowledge. You cannot write all together same place the magnitude 6, 7, 8 that is a wrong okay, that you should know. So, this scale okay, so for the mapping purpose this scale also used in the color grading you can see the color grading. So, the light blue okay, so the light green, green, yellow and red light red dark red and then very dark. So, reddish black. So, where you can see the extreme 12. So, by using the color coding one can able to see the what magnitude what intensity has been expected in this region. So, if you go back to the first slide okay, here you can see the color coding. Now, you understand why the isosismal maps are color coded on different level. So, by seeing this you will understand how the damage is severe at a particular location. So, now as on uh, this class going on you may be seeing that each day okay, so they release a COVID-19 ward update map. So, they map basically red, orange and green. Okay, so, the red means there is a active case, orange means it is basically active case passed the first quarantine uh, period. Then okay, green means there is no active quarantine cases. So, this also they use a three grading system most of the state and then the city level they release this kind of map every day for the make a mobility easy planning and as all those things. So, similar way this kind of color coding map help easily to understand how the earthquake is uh, caused damage. So, you look at all this scale basically. So, you can uh, see the damage level expected in the building and then a different scale. So, even though there are a scale which is 12 in nature, but uh, this 12 you can see more or less uh, this goes up to 4 
there is a slight difference is there after 4 it is almost same ok. Then the MSK scale you can see it is a Japan scale and then uh, Rosiferal scale there is a difference. So, more or less anything which reports the building beyond 50 percent. So, it will be called as a intensity uh, 10 and above in the 12 scale and uh, but it is uh, 6 and above in the Japanese scale of 7 ok that is a comparison you can get from this figure. So, this intensity scale ok. So, used to plot a equal intensity ok. So, then join a equal intensity uh, through a line that line is called as a isosismal line ok. So, nowadays this intensity scales are basically used to So, these intensity scales are basically used to uh, convert to magnitude there are some equations people have developed based on the so their regional data and then they given. So, where if you have even the old MMI values which you can use to convert to the acceleration for the design purpose and engineering analysis. Okay. So, this acceleration basically peak ground acceleration or zero period amp, uh, acceleration maximum amplitude of the recorded acceleration which we will discuss in the uh, interpretation data time what is the peak ground acceleration and zero period acceleration or mag, maximum amplitude recorded acceleration in detail. But now we should know that there is a conversion between the engineering quantities or quantified way of earthquake measurement of acceleration to the intensity using this relations. So, this is the basically the acceleration in gals ok with a respective intensity scale you can see how the intensity scale. So, this was a basically reported by the uh, different earthquake recordings and then there was a some kind of normalized table has been derived for this. So, this intensity scale ok basically affect the accuracy of the intensity rating. As I told you that they train a people and ask them to uh, tell the intensity value. Sometime as you know that among the people itself there are people who are very sensitive to the sound and vibration there are people they are not even sensitive to the any kind of vibration signal. So, depends upon the person to person this intensity scale may vary it is not straight forward same at a different place because of the perception of the people and the sensitivity of the people. When the study of intensity earthquake was made nowadays is questionary that at particular town or village that the effect reflecting the greatest intensity often chosen those increasing the local rating of the earthquake. A particular difficult to use landslide caused by the earthquake the modified mercality intensity gives landslide rating up. 10, but the fact is the landslides are common many region even non seismic areas ok where the landslide may taking place because the landslide sometime occur due to the rain ok. So, due to the rain the well, slope is saturated and become a uh, uh, less shear strength uh, slope when there was a vehicle goes small that vibration causes a landslide, but the intensity 10 says it is a very highest level. So, such kind of ambiguities are always are occur and moreover this intensities for example, I, I told you that in the same place you have the mud building RCC building and then the uh, uh, normal brick wall construction houses in the given urban area all of them are located within the same line it is very common in India. The mud building completely collapses other two buildings has a crack what intensity scale you will assign that is depends upon the person who survey the house ok. He will preferably give the highest range, but it may not be right ok. Sometime so, uh, there was a experience which I gained during the my visit to Sikkim. So, where there was a traditional construction house ok the traditional construction house how they constructed uh, the house basically in Sikkim hilly area they follow their own traditional way of uh, bringing. So, the basically the hills are having slope like this ok. So, how they constructed the house in the traditional way. So, they made like the wooden frame like this. So, uh, then they made a wooden frame. 
so in this they put a wooden roller kind of wooden raw tree uh, only chopped the branches then again they made a wooden frame and again they build a house with the two floor okay then they had a window that window was based so this all completely wood completely wood like this so it completely wood with uh, the frame and door openings and all then followed by this or uh, wooden panel plastered with uh, mud with uh, cow dung or a uh, cement paste okay so in that same place basically so this was the road okay so uh, in the plan uh, this road was basically extending like this like this there was a another place where the rcc framed structures are constructed which was basically some uh, christian church in the same area which was not very far about 100 meter uh, distance so when we went to do the observatory survey soon after the some earthquake basically this house had not even a minor crack but this particular house completely had a damage so now which one you will take into consideration making the intensity scale so even though this is according to engineering point of view which is not a pakka engineer structure but it is congregate to be believed rcc building to be believed to be a engineering structure but it has a damage it doesn't have damage so this kind of complicated situation will arise okay where the judgment person who is doing the survey will take a role to decide what is the intensity scale that was a one big problem in the intensity scale okay actually this is the traditional practice even though it is not non engineering structure this is a traditional practice even though it is a not non engineering structure but since people there see they know the earthquakes are occurring in that region they used this wooden as a base connecting two floor one with the uh, connected with the rock another is house so this when earthquakes are occurring basically this rolls here and there so which is basically makes house intact not creating any damage so this is the traditional practice where northeast people are using but nowadays because of the this congregate uh, jungle or congregate uh, knowledge to the people many people knowingly unknowingly believe that congregate houses are stronger but it is not so okay congregate maybe you give aesthetically a good appearance and view but this kind of scenario where the congregate house actually collapsed completely but this was intact okay if the concrete house not designed as per engineering design requirement it is disastrous okay but the traditional house even though it may not be the scientifically having the equation or uh, with the design parameters but since is the traditional practice it survived the earthquake so this kind of issues will come when you assign a intensity scale damage level based on the building there was another uh, situation where the earthquakes are occurring in the forest okay there was a many place you know that there was a forest if the earthquakes are origin in that place okay it propagates in the forest no man will be living and no house will be there so then how do you people know that this were earthquakes are happened or not if the forest is having like a 200 km radius forest is there so you may not even feel the earthquake but that earthquake may be very stronger okay been since there is no people there there is no report it that doesn't mean that there is no earthquake so that is what happened when you have the poor seismic instrumentation since historic time you might have missed many earthquake which has happened in the remote area like sea as well as in the forest or non habitated places so that is where you may not notice and uh, recorded that values as earthquake but that might have happened and that seismic history may continue in that region okay so that was the issue so the i was tell you was that iso uh, seismal line so the iso seismal line is basically the equal intensity uh, connected grid line okay line which is connected is equal intensity is the iso seismal line the map which is showing a several iso seismal line is called as a iso seismal map the seismology uh, in seismology the iso seismal map is used to uh, plot a 
equal felt intensity and generally measured modified intensity and then they give a color coding depends upon the intensity level which will help you to identify where was the origin of the earthquake. Basically the higher and concentrated places like this will be the historic okay, so location of the epicenter of that earthquake based on that only they will define this is the epicenter of the earthquake okay, based on the known knowledge. So, this is the typical isosismal map okay, for the uh, 1968 Illinois earthquake. So, this isosismal map people found that the isosismal map reported in the area and well matched with the geological data of the region. This is a basically a uh, San Francisco intensity map, you can see the San Francisco intensity map. San Francisco geology map, you can see there is a similarities which you can understand much better in the color scale. This is the fault when earthquakes occurred, this is the this one. This is the thickness of the soil like rock, okay, bedrock and then soil thickness. You can see that, so wherever there was a high intensity, okay, there was a deep soil found in that region. Wherever there was a low intensity like this block spot, you can see a the less bedrock or surface rock region where the damages are less. So, provided your buildings in this area throughout the regions are similar. So, you can also understand the role of geology and the soil in the region using this kind of studies. So, this was the origin where the earthquake geotechnical engineering started. People try to understand how the earthquake okay, so influence by the soil in that region. The earthquake damage is responsible from the soil deposit in the region because of this kind of observatory data comparing with the geology and the intensity of the this earthquakes. So, this is about the intensity scale standard way where the building damage and then the report of earthquake has been being reported. So, uh, these are all about the we said that there was a four type of intensity scale, all of them have uh, 12 level, there is a Japan intensity scale 7 level. Since the 12 level is most widely used, we are discussed about the 12 level. We also talk about the isosismal value, isosismal map, problem with the intensity scale, okay, so how the intensity scales are helping to identify the geology in the region if the buildings are similar. Okay, the next class we are going to discuss about the road damage intensity scale, okay, which will be uh, so, uh, developed by myself. Okay? So, I will tell you why I developed in the next class. So, with this class we will thank you, we will meet in the next class. Thank you.